Abu Sayyaf group notorious for kidnappings, robberies, beheadings and deadly bombings. Attacks again. Philippines deadly bomb killed soldiers and police and many more wounded. Two bombs exploded in a southern Philippines town on Monday, military and police sources said. The blasts killed at least 14 people and injured dozens more. The first bomb detonated at around noon local time along a main street in the town of Hulo in Sulu province, around 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, south of Manila. Reports said the first bomb had been attached to a motorcycle. Monday's incident was one of at least six suicide bombings in the past three years, a mode of attack previously rare in the Philippines. At least five soldiers and four civilians were killed in the first blast. Regional Military Command Lieutenant General Corlito Vinluan said. Initial army reports said the source of the first blast was a homemade bomb on a parked motorcycle. The explosion damaged a food and computer store as well as two army trucks, military spokesman Rex Payet and police said. The second blast, carried out by a female suicide attacker, went off nearby shortly after the first explosion. The bomber and a soldier were killed, and several bystanders were injured in the second blast. A female suicide bomber detonated herself, as a soldier stopped her, from entering the cordoned area. Lieutenant Colonel Ronaldo Matia, an army spokesman told Manila radio station DCMN. A third, unexploded bomb was reportedly found in a public market. The combined explosions killed seven soldiers, six civilians and one police officer, and injured 75 individuals. According to figures from the Sulu Provincial Government's Information Office, in total, eight members of the security forces, six civilians and the bomber were killed in the two blasts, while 27 security personnel and 48 civilians were wounded. The attacks are suspected to have been masterminded by Mundi Soad Jaan, a bomb expert with the Abu Sayyaf terrorist group. According to Regional Military Command Lieutenant General Corlito Vinluan, the blasts happened not far from the site of a major explosion that killed more than 20 people inside a Catholic church in early 2019, according to state-run PTV channel. Unstable region. Hulo, the main town on Hulo Island, is a stronghold of the Abu Sayyaf militants who has pledged allegiance to Islamic State. Hulo is one of a chain of mainly Muslim islands, in the southwest of the majority Roman Catholic country. The military is in the midst of a months-long offensive against the group, one of the most violent terrorist organizations in the Philippines. In past years, Abu Sayyaf was behind several bombings kidnappings, and beheadings particularly white tourists. Military offensives and surrendering have caused the armed group's numbers to dwindle down to a few hundred in recent years. Just two weeks ago, key commander Abdul Jahad Sasukan was turned over to Philippine authorities after seeking medical attention for an injury sustained last year. Authorities are now conducting an investigation which includes identifying individuals or groups behind these dastardly attacks. In June, four soldiers were killed by police in Hulo while pursuing suspected armed fighters. They were stopped by police leading to the deadly incident. Sulu is a small place. Almost everyone are related to each other in Sulu. There are ASG, Abu Sayyaf group, who have relatives in the police force. Major General Vinluan, a military commander in Mindanao told senators in Manila during a Senate inquiry. Hola. Thanks for listening.